All right, who's ready for season two? Anyone? Hey guys, what's sizzling? It's Daniel, or Dan, or Danny, or DP, or whatever you prefer to call me, as long as it's not hurtful. Welcome to season two of Friday Night's Alright for Chatting. To kick off this season, I'll be sharing about my experience at the Atlantic Music Festival's composition program. As you may already know, I attended this program for the past two weeks, which is why I couldn't make any more season one episodes at Friday Night's All Right for Chatting. But now that I'm back on air, how did I like the AMF experience? Well, in this episode, we'll find out the answer. Beginning with the events that happened in this experience, here's the laydown. On most days, we'd start with a morning seminar at 9, followed by free time, which also meant lunch. After lunch, the events varied between week 1 and week 2. In week 1, after lunch, we'd head right to the on-campus chapel to hear readings from the orchestra as they read works from the full-time composition students. For more context on this, uh, the full program lasted 4 weeks, but... Some people had the option of only doing the first two weeks, which would be session one, or the last two weeks, which would be session two. I obviously did session two. Students who were in the full program got to compose for the orchestra and have their works be read, while part-time students only got to write for these smaller ensembles and have their works performed and, and premiered. In week two, we'd have an additional lab or seminar at three. Almost every day of the whole experience, there'd be an optional open seminar at 4, followed by some free time for dinner. On most nights at 7 o'clock, there'd be performances from the vocalists, the chamber instrumentalists, and other students and fellows from other programs in the festival. On select nights, we all got to hang out at the on-campus bar where we'd be treated to drinks, food, games, and sometimes karaoke or open mic nights, too. Occasionally, we'd have composition lessons from highly prolific composers. These lessons were usually in pairs, which meant that two students got to work with one composer faculty member. At these lessons, each student would present their work and then receive feedback from the faculty member. Most of the feedback I got I found to be extremely helpful without being too harsh. On some days, we didn't really have anything scheduled or going on. And on those days, some people would decide to get into groups, and see some of Maine's best attractions for a day. I certainly went on one of these day trips and saw Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park, both of which are gorgeous. If you ever get the chance to go to Maine, please do yourself a favor and see both. However, this day trip lasted a bit longer than I anticipated, due to some minor emergencies. But then again, those were quickly resolved. Another minor issue I faced regarded minuscule laundry-related frustrations. But then again, I wouldn't really consider those to be bad at all, considering how they only affected my schedule and how much of a rush I would be in, and they wouldn't end up ruining my day at all. As for the main events of the composition program, those being the composition and new works concerts, there were about two of those. One of them was on the second day of session two, and the other was on the second to last day of the entire festival. My composition for Chamber Ensemble was premiered on the first of these days. The performance went very, very, very well, and all of the musicians who performed it did a very fantastic, highly professional job. Speaking of great performances, the orchestra performers, chamber performers, vocalist performers, and new music lab performers were all incredible. These are the kinds of people who are going to do amazing things. Additionally, I made some awesome friends, not just in the composition program, but in some of the other programs as well, like orchestra, chamber, and vocalists. These kinds of people ranged from all different age groups and all different levels of education and careers. Some were even full-time music teachers or arts education administrators. They all had very, very, very unique personalities talents, senses of humor, and ways of showing kindness and compassion. Finally, the visual environments were nothing short of astounding. 
These ranged from a beautiful, old-fashioned college campus that's hundreds of years old, to the very dreamlike, almost fantasy-like town of Bar Harbor, to the breathtaking, beyond picturesque mountains, trails, ponds, and beaches of Acadia National Park. One thing I've always loved about all of the different musical festivals I've attended and performed at over the years is that they all take place in these gorgeous, picturesque, rural and, and suburban environments. Overall, my experience at the Atlantic Music Festival's composition program was nothing short of magical and easily one of my favorite summer memories of all time. This is all thanks to a refreshing turn of events, wonderful people and great new friends who I made, world-class faculty and instructors, and stunning visual environments and locations. If you're a composer, vocalist, instrumentalist, or other musician of any kind, this is one of those festivals that you cannot live without experiencing. In fact, I would actually highly recommend that you open up a new tab right now, go to the festival's website, and see if they've announced the dates for their 2020 summer season. If they haven't, set a reminder in your phone to check the website every day until they've made announcements for next year. I would easily rate this experience a 9.5 out of 10. Well, that's the end of today's episode. How did the past two weeks go for you guys? Were any of you at the Atlantic Music Festival? If yes, were you someone who I met? Did you attend any other music festivals, maybe, if not AMF? Did you do anything else? Please feel free to keep the conversation going by dropping either a comment or a video response with the hashtag Friday Night's All Right for Chatting. Don't be mean, though. I'm watching you. If you like this video, please feel free to click the like button. If you'd like to follow me on more of my adventures, please feel free to click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that every time I make a video, you'll be the first to know. Also, I've left the links to all of my social media pages in the description below, in case you want to follow me on social media. Alrighty then, thank you all for watching, I'll see you next week, stay awesome!